Hello, this is Donnie Sundelbach from Educational Technology Services. This brief tutorial will explain how you can create appointment slots in Google Calendar to set up office hours and other meetings with students. So if you take a look at the screen, I'm going to be using the Educational Technology Services account for demonstration purposes only. And while we're role-playing, I think I will pretend that I am Fred Portudu and I am setting up office hours. So I will click on the calendar and you see the window pops up just like it would if you were making any event on the calendar. But what I want to do instead is go and select appointment slots. The next thing I will do is go down to more options because that will open a window that gives us a lot more room, easier to see what's in there. So I'm going to go ahead and say that these are office hours for Fred Portudu, and I'm going to expand them so that it's a two-hour block, 30 minutes a piece. Um, students can sign up for any available slot. Um, for touching base as we're teaching remotely. When I get all the information I, I want in there, a title, the time frames, a description, I'll go ahead and click Save. And as you can see up on the calendar now, there is a block that is reserved for appointments or office hours. And you know it's appointments because it's got that cute little window up in the left-hand corner. The other thing to keep in mind is if I click on the um, block itself, I get a URL that says go to the appointment page for this calendar. So there is one URL, one web address, that will show all the appointments for this particular calendar. I'm going to switch gears a little bit here now, and I am going to use my own personal account in order to show how a student would then sign up um, for office hours with Fred. So if I click on that tab, and I'm going to that week in my calendar as a student, you can see it's got other things on there that I have on my actual Denison calendar. But it's also showing that block in half hour increments. So I could look and see, you know, maybe there's a particular time that I would want to meet um, with Professor Portudu. Maybe I want to meet right at 4 o'clock. I go ahead and click on that particular appointment. Window pops up and tells me what the appointment is for, the time slot that I'm signing up for. And if that works for me as a student, I go ahead and I click Save. And you can see it will confirm that it's now saved. And that particular time slot of all the appointments now disappears because I've reserved it. So that means other students won't see it and won't be able to sign up for it. If I go back to the professor's calendar and refresh, it now shows that within that appointment block, there is someone signed up for office hours during that time period. Again, um, you can share out that appointment page URL to students so they can sign up. And then when you go to meet with the student during their particular appointment, there is a unique Hangouts Meet URL that you both go into to then join and have a conversation and meet. Each appointment slot is going to have its own unique Hangouts Meet so that it's, it's protecting the privacy and the, of the meeting itself.